Grand Valley's got to do something and fast in order to uh, tie up this first game so they can push it to overtime. Cumberland's very efficient with the rotations right now. Not a lot of guys who are not back there ready to make that save here. Um, and Grand Valley just not getting too many great shots here. A couple nice ones, but there always seems to be a Cumberland defender there. Might want to look to get some of their um, demos going, just bumps to get out of the way and open that net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can push uh, you know, defenders out of position on their usual rotates, I mean, mess up that muscle memory, uh, that's uh, it's more the merrier. But the, with the zeros on the clock, Grand Valley, even if they score here, it's not going to matter. Cumberland's going to take game one here. <laughs> Ball is going up, and there it is. That is game one. Cumberland takes the first game of the series. Again, best of seven. So now, we did miss the first two minutes of those game, that game, so it would be curious to see how that went because it was scoreless for a long time, and we kind of joined right as they got ready. Um, yeah. But uh, what, do you, what do you think Grand Valley was missing from that match? Um, like I said, I think last time when we played Purdue, um, the demo goals were also really awesome. They usually had one guy leaning ahead um, to get that last defender, and then it was an easy wide-open goal for them. So mm -hmm. I think looking for more of those on offense would be good. I actually think the defense in the second half of that game, at least the part that we saw, was actually pretty solid. Um, no other goals past that three-minute mark-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the offense is there. Just need to find better opportunities. Yeah, I totally agree. I think, uh, you know, Grand Valley's so are getting in the warm of it. You know, they're, they're getting ready and – now that they'll finally uh, put their stuff to practice in this next game, I'm um, hoping to see uh, you know maybe a few goals here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping. Definitely a big game to get back within it to tie it up one to one. Going down 2-0 in a best of four is not ideal. Mm -hmm. So hopefully Grand Valley can think some strategy here and recoup. They're not used to being down though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, 100%. The Grand Valley's undefeated in this tournament. Um, Phoenixes are six and one, and uh, the only loss was to Davenport, a very good school. Um, Gliac rival of Grand Valley. Yeah. So. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, so you know, we got some background. We got some history for these games. Uh, you know, always good to see some storylines develop. And we're back in the game. Looks like we just got kicked off. Cyber already on the attack. Trying to be careful here. Gets it past one guy. It's gonna be clear though. Alpha trying to save it, but not gonna do much with it. Alpha on Fennec. Can't remember if he's normally on that or Octane, but just something to note. Gorilla. Gorilla, I know is normally on Fennec, but he's rocking Octane today. So just a bit of a different car switch up we're seeing from Grand Valley. Mm -hmm. Variety is definitely the spice of life, but you know you want to play something that you're comfortable with, and right. I think that's what these uh, players Ooh, that's are going with. It's a great with. shot there. A little bit off, but good angle on it. All the right intentions. Just a little bit of the execution. Skyland missing that. Uh, that's a bit of an awkward there. jump. From yeah. There. Got out of position. Yeah, Both even neither team wants to commit to that. Both kind of faked each other out. That's a good spot. Get a good bump there from Grand Valley, and Cyber's going to put it in. Like I said, that was a great bump there. I think that was Alpha on the bump. Gorilla put it in a great spot, and they got the guy right out of the way, so it was perfect. Yep. It's, all, it's all about setting your teammates up for success, and I think that's a, that's a Grand Valley step in the right direction there. Gorilla with the pass, Alpha with the bump, Cyber puts it away, and that makes it 1 0. You got to be utilizing all three cars at the same time. You can't be, uh, you know, doing one or two. So that's not going to cut it here at these high level lobbies. Alpha's up. That's magic up for Cumberland. He's going to clear it. It's a nice touch there. Now it's Cumberland on the attack. It's going to be a difficult one, but Gorilla handles it easily. Try to keep it in the air. Try to get up right in front of their goal. Nobody's there to put it in though for Cumberland. They're going to try to rotate it out. Uh, magic misses that one. Yeah. Good block there by Gorilla. It's a dangerous ball up in the middle. Good 50 there from Magic. Keeps it in their half. Cyber up, trying to do something with it. Good challenge there. I think that was Magic again from uh, Cumberland. Yeah, Magic seems to be uh, in great positions here. Alpha just caught in the air without any boost. Nothing you can really do there. Um, we're going to keep it uh, playing towards the mid. And yeah, what so what do you think the key here is to scoring goals at this level? Um, um, I think like we saw with the first goal, I mean, working all together, you're not going to find many got opportunities for one guy to do it by himself. Mm -hmm. um, you got to work as a team, whether that's through passes, bumps, demos. Um, it's all going to come down to that team play. Um, and I think that's what we saw with that first goal from Grand Valley. So more of that, I think, is going to be it. Um, mm -hmm. And like we've said for from Alpha, comms are going to be huge at this point in the game. Um, everybody needs to know where that ball is at all times and you know, know how much boost we have and stuff like that. So. Yeah, they don't get to see our uh, fancy overlays over here. Ooh, oh, great just, save. Just barely. Oh, and oh, no, he tries follow. to go up top with it off the crossbar. Cyber coming in again, and it's and in. <laughs> Third time's the charm there for Cyber with a beautiful, uh, ex a beautifully executed goal there. Three oh. Cumberland players are engaging on this ball, and it still manages to sneak in there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody's going for it. Nobody can get it. That makes it 2-0 here with a little over half to left to play in this game. I love this comeback from Grand Valley here. Really shifting momentum. You know, that's my uh, favorite word ever, uh, momentum. Momentum. For uh, both Valorant and uh, Rocket League here, you know. <laughs> it's all about the mental game, really. 
And I'm gonna go back to center. Grill is gonna try to do something here. Rotating back to GVSU side, not a, not a good thing. Alpha's gonna put it back to their side and uh, see if they can get something off this. Good bump from Cyber. Alpha's up. Doesn't quite hit it. Cumberland's, uh, I, I mean, their passing game is really just on point here in the midfield. Um, they're always there uh, with another car, even if uh, it's a good pass in the middle. Yep. Great clear by Grand Valley, though. Not giving Skyline there a chance to get up for that. Back on Cumberland's side. Let's see if they can make something of it. Demo there by, uh, that was by Gorilla. Not going to do much, though, Grand Valley. Not on the attack right now. Good yeah. play off the wall there from Cyber. Sets it up, though, for Magic. Off the wall comes another Cumberland player. Not going to do much with that. Going to try to rotate over for a goal. Will it happen? Good no. 50 there from Cyber. Gets it over him. And they're going to push it over it's to It's on Cumberland. net. Yep. Ooh, Ooh, that was A little close. off net, actually. But uh, Gorilla could not beat the uh, Cumberland player to that uh, second tap in there. But we are just over a minute 30 left. Grand Valley's still been in total control of this game. Um, so just... Look to keep playing well, keep playing as a team, and might come away with game two here. Yeah, I mean, just keeping this lead and, uh, you know, maybe even growing it by one or two. Um, that's, uh, and they'll walk away, you know, feeling a little bit better, a little mentally uh, refreshed there. And Cyber's yeah. up. It's right in the middle for somebody. None of the teams there, just quite in time, though, unfortunately, and it's going to go back to middle. It's a dangerous ball. Oh, Hanging over the net. Right over. Oh, pumps Bit of an awkward clear there, but it's yeah. out nonetheless. Back in, though. Grand Valley's defense has been strong this second game. i like to see a total reversal here of the rules. Another good 50 there. Super smart. Bit of an awkward jump there. Just wanted to contest it, though. Now Cyber's on the offensive. Just trying to get it downfield as quick as possible. Hanging in front of the net. This is good for Grand Valley. I want to keep it on this half for as long as possible. Yeah, we've seen it hang in front of the net before. And we know good how that 50 from Alpha. That's in the middle. Bit of an awkward touch. Another chance for Alpha to play it in the middle of the Cyber, and it's just a little behind him. Not going to be able to get a good angle on that. Just under 20 seconds. It might be a little too late here for Cumberland in game two. It's all the, all the great news for us here. Uh, we're smiling from ear to ear in the caster <laughs> booth. Um, Good to see uh, a Grand Valley take uh, the second game. And they're going to put another one in, 3-0. Well, exactly. That was just for the mental, you know. Yep, cherry on top in game two. Yeah, look at that. Great play here by Cyber, getting past two defenders. Cyber looking like the uh, early MVP. And then with five seconds left, we're just going to get this ball up, let it hit the floor, and we'll be wrapped up here for game two. Maybe they'll keep it up. Who knows? A few clip resets or something. <laughs> Play with it, yeah. And, and it's it is. Down. Game two, <laughs> Grand Valley takes it, tying up this series one to one. Look at that, Cyber Sausage with two goals. That's uh, that was a really impressive game. You know, I think I think they did all the, that you were talking about, really. You know, really uh, setting it up for each other, doing some team play, demos, bumps, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think that first goal was a big momentum shift for them, and um, you know, a bit of a jitters jitters were shaken a bit, I think, in that first game. Yeah. Uh, but I think getting that confidence back with the first goal kind of let them get in their groove get back into like what they know. Um, and that was a pretty dominating 3-0 win. I'm not sure how many shots, or good shots, at least Cumberland had on goal in that game, but it wasn't many. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was kind of over on GV's side for a little bit, but there wasn't anything that was super threatening. Um, you know, obviously, they're gonna they're looking to change their momentum and see how, you know, uh, work on their strategies. But I, I really like this back and forth. You know, this high level, they're so close in all this, you know, just looking for little tiny weaknesses. We are back now for game three, just getting underway here, one to one. Starts on GB side. Good demo there. Yeah. Get away. Get rid of that attacker. Exactly. Gives time for Cyber. Gorilla's heading downfield. Maybe he might try to find him. He's not going to do much with no boost, though. Nice play there. And Alpha's going to be short to that 50. Not good for Grand Valley here. That's going to be an open net. Oh, great save there. Looked like Gorilla coming in, sacrificing the car for it. Cyber comes back to follow up with the clear. I'm really a big fan of this Grand Valley defense now. Uh, they've, uh, they've completely, uh, I mean, shifted full circle in a matter of like three, three four minutes. Yep. Uh, that's really impressive. It kind of speaks to the level of communication uh, that uh, we have here. Yeah. That's right Ooh. in front of the net, and nobody's back there for that one. Skyling, or Skyline with just an easy tap in, uh, sat right in front of the net, and that's going to be an easy put away. Cyber looks like just out of rotation. We had both players go up for that second hit, so nobody there to help out with that one. And Cumberland's going to take an early 1 0 lead here in game two. Yeah, definitely something Grand Valley can come back to uh, super easily here. 
Um, they just got to do the same thing. I, could, I guess I kind of cast the cursed if I talk about Grand Valley's stellar defense and then they get scored on. I think we are both known for that, so yeah. don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's kind of a reputation. Um, but looks like the net's going to be uh, – yeah, all right. Okay. Cyber, I think, was coming off a demo and could just not make it there in time for that one. I think that kind of speaks to the importance of demos and bumps and all that sort of stuff. Really, just a little tiny power play in these high-level games. Is yeah, and that's a 2-0 lead here early in game, not even a minute in. And honestly, in this series, it may be who gets out to these fast starts. Um, and for both games now, we've seen shutouts by either team. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really just who scored that first goal and kind of got to play their way, I guess. Yeah, it's 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 kind of hard to regain that momentum and come back for oh, it. Gorilla gets it over him. Ooh, wow, that was a great play by him, but nobody's there to clean it up for Grand Valley. Fortunate. Yeah, I really like Gorilla here. He's got some uh, killer offense here. 50 by Alpha, still in their side, trying to play into the middle. Can't find it, though. Cyber here for the rebound, full tank of boost. Not going to do much with that, though. Steals the boost, though, from Magic, it looks like. And now here comes Grand Valley once again. Cyber. Alpha is not going to have a lot of boost here. Only 11, trying to manage it to Gorilla in the middle. Oh, Ooh. and a good save there by a Cumberland player. Looks like that was uh, Skyline. Maybe I should talk about Cumberland's good defense so we could get some goals here. Here we go. Here. This is a good chance. I think he Great yeah. shot there from Cyber. A nice little flip to get it over that last defender. Put it top bins. Great goal here from Grand Valley. Gets us back into the game. Yeah, one, two, three minutes remaining. Completely salvageable from Grand Valley. Easily tied this up, make it 3-2. Cyber's been a playmaker so far. Definitely scoring a lot of our goals here, and he's feeling good. Yeah. Well, I'd love to see him uh, continue that into this uh, second half of the game. Though it is going to be on GB's side. It's going to be kind of dangerous. They're going to come clear to the center. Well, that's back on goal. Somebody's got to get back for that. Oh. Great 50 there from Magic. Tucks it away in that goal, and that makes it a two-goal deficit pretty quickly. Yeah, you can't, you can't overextend or else stuff like that will happen uh, where you try to position. It's unfortunate. So now, just over three minutes, goal is deficit back to two. Uh, we'll see if Grand Valley can find another answer here. A minute 30 for a goal, not a, not a bad, not a bad thing. No, plenty of time. Yeah, exactly. I've seen 10 just seconds. like goals. that, Ooh. wow, great <laughs> wow. save from Skyline there from uh, Cumberland. Skyline is definitely there all the time. Uh, but let's see, I want to see a Cyber get shut up for another shot here. Cumberland is flying all over the place in this game. That one misses. Yeah, right, right over the crossbar. Cross yeah, <laughs> think of the same thing. Um, but yeah, they there, there's been a lot of dangerous balls on GV side. You know, just letting it Look at this. linger all the way down the court. Alpha there to just bank it. Yeah, somebody's got to get this out now. Grand Valley is low on boost on all fronts. Alpha picks one up. It looks like it's gonna come to the A. Hopefully, Cyber with a good flip there into the ball. Alpha challenges that super smurf with no boost, so that's not gonna do much with that. Gonna be trying to get it right in front of the goal. Uh, nobody's really there to help set it up properly. It's gonna go over back to GV side, and now we're gonna be back on defense. Wow! Ooh. Great <laughs> reflex there by Cumberland, just above the crossbow though. It's in front of the net again, and great save there by Cyber. Awesome read there, reading the offense really well there, and um, makes it just keeps Grand Valley in the reach of this game. What a save! Yeah, I mean, you know, there have been a few scores goals, goals scored on Grand Valley, but uh, you know they're they're doing well to combat this, and it's not a complete walking all over them. Demo there on uh, GV. Uh -oh. All's gonna be dangerous Alpha out, no out of boost, position. But luckily nobody there. It looks like one of the demo on one couple of there looks like there. Uh, Grand Valley needs to put some offense together though. Yeah. Ball has been hanging in their side for a long time. Two Cumberland players up, both get it, but might leave them out of position here. Currently wants to clean it up. Good 50 there. It's still up, but Magic's going to clear that. I mean, these are not the cranberries. You cannot let it linger. we got to get some balls. Let's reset from Alpha. It's Ooh. up there. Is he going to do it? No, no on that fight. Unfortunate. Nobody was there to get it. Um, but Cyber's, Cyber's going to middle. Oh, they both missed. Just walk right by him. Wow. Look That's at that. That's a big goal. Cyber Sausage in between two enemy defenders trying their best to get it, and they just can't quite get it. Look at that. Right past him. Alpha unselfishly leaving that goal for his teammate right there. I know Power Planner probably tap it in. But you know, what it <laughs> that kind of speaks to Grand Valley's team yeah, play. Exactly. And, you know, we have great camaraderie. It's like family back there. Oh, that's going to be a tough one to save. Oh, Cyber's and he's, up. And he's but he's there. Cyber's always there, except oh, for that one. Uh, that's yeah. a tough one to come back on. Grand Valley left out of position after that kickoff. And that's unfortunate because another one, another goal they get, but Cumberland takes it right back. That's going to make it 4-2, pretty much wiping that last game of the goal off the scoreboard. It's a shame. You know, 30-second goals, a little harder, but not unrealistic. Uh, they really got to step up this offense, though, and uh, make something of it. Yeah, and you're not going to get a lot of – you're not going to get a lot of – 
not, not a lot of sneaky goals like that last one Green Valley had, where yeah. you had two SSL players just miss a ball. So. Yeah, definitely uh, unlucky there for uh, Cumberland. You know, they'll be weighing on their conscience later tonight. Um, they do need to make something happen. And ooh, it's just lingering in front of Grand Valley's goal. Wasn't a fan of that. Cumberland players out of booze. Here's Super with some on the wall. Going to play it well. Alpha hits into the middle. Let's Gorilla up. Going to hit in the core. Not going to do much with that. 30 seconds remaining. Two goals to need, to need to tie it up here from Grand Valley. Cyber looking to do something here. Off the wall, though, goes Cumberland. Another just not letting that ball get in the middle here. That's really where Grand Valley likes it. Yeah, right in the middle. Um, but... They really got to get it in that goal. Ten seconds remaining. Two goals needed. It's not looking good for Grand Valley. It looks like Cumberland's probably going to take the series. Uh, yeah, that clock ticking down. And get another one here. Tried to flip reset. Didn't quite get it. And there we go. Cumberland takes the first game. Or sec third, third game. game. Sorry. I'm all out of whack here. <laughs> uh, doing a little wheel wiggles there at the end. Advantage of them. But also, it's really who a team is getting off to the fast start right now. Uh, whoever scold first has won all three of these games so far. So it's that first goal that's been playing a key factor um, in kind of letting these teams run how they want to run. Mm -hmm. um, also, though, uh, we had two Grand Valley goals there that were right easily uh, taken off with a Cumberland goal that followed. So yeah. I think you know getting those goals and then keeping that kind of score differential in there is going to be key as we get into game four here. You know, if you set the pace on a treadmill with uh, 20 miles an hour, your uh, opponent's going to have a tough time keeping up. Um, and oh, oh just that was a hot shot. That, that's what we like to see from Grand Valley: some early aggression, some nice power shots on the goal here. Um, but it's right in front of their goal, and it's oh, gonna go. It's an oh. own goal. It's an, an own, own goal. goal. Oh, at this SSL level, it's oh, that that's, hurts a lot. That yeah. was um, yeah, I'll hit all the way back there. Cyber trying to just hit it up, and then Gorilla also trying to clear, but hits it off the cross, and just awkward there. A bit of a note, though, Gorilla has switched to Fennec. Uh, I think that is the normal car that he rocks with. So we'll see if that does anything for Grand Valley. You're trying to look for something. But mm -hmm. um, if previous games have gone, they have. This is not good for Grand Valley. Yeah, no. <laughs> that early lead, uh, like you we were just talking about, is so crucial. And if uh, they don't strike back quick, it's going to spell another game for uh, Cumberland here. Nobody there can have for Grand Valley. That was placed well in the corner. Cyber trying to be fancy here. Made a few nice goals here today. Let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, teammates really got to set it up here. And, uh, That's right in the middle. Oh, oh. Hey, Gorilla tries to go for it. Just gets uh, set out by a Cumberland player, unfortunate. Phoenixes are arising from the ashes. Oh, good play here by Alpha. Ah, good hit. Good save there. Yeah, they're just there. You know, those power shots, you really got to get, you know, they got to be it faster. It really is just right off the screen. It looks like it's going in all the way. Yeah. And they just find a way to kind of get that save in just last minute. Um, and that's what's been crucial for Cumberland's uh, just success here is their rotations I think, have been a big part mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, I, th I think that's uh, kind of the key to success at this uh, level is the rotations. Oh, no Alpha misses that. Valley. Gorilla and Alpha are in trouble. They just got to get it out. Luckily, yeah. Cumberland is reeling, but Alpha Ooh. still has a little boost here. Oh, he's still going to put it in, though. Find the net, baby. Come on. Look at that. Uh, Grand Valley gets a gets a goal, tying it up three minutes 30 into the game. Uh, they were caught out of position with no boost, and they still managed to score off that. And that's yep. pretty impressive. That was a uh, alpha got through all three there, played it off the wall himself, and finishes it up. And it's going to make it one-to-one, -one, just a minute 30 into game four. As much as I love a Grand Valley goal, we've been seeing a lot of, like, singular play. You know, like somebody gets by two or three defenders or, you know, something, you know, two SSLs miss, like, a block, you know, on a goal. Really, I want to see some more team goals. You know, maybe a few passes up, the, you know, put it, kit it onto the crossbar for your teammate, something like that. You know, I think that's uh, the key here to uh, winning. Good pass. Ooh, it just barely knocked Cumberland out of the way. Great save there. That was a great power shot there from Cyber off the pass from Gorilla. It's kind of dangling there. Here comes Cyber up. Uh, going to try and hit it again, but that's going to be a clear by Cumberland. Alpha is trying to keep it on their side, though. I like this aggression from Grand Valley. Uh, good to keep it on their side. Those can try to get the, quite get it. It's going to be right in front of goal. And, oh, it's oh, so and close. It's gonna it's out. That was off the post and did not go into the net. Luckily, that must have been at least a quarter of the ball hanging in that net. But needs, the full ball needs to cross, so wow. it does not count. Everybody in the, in the LEC is sweating <laughs> right about now. I would be, too. Um, Good 50 there from Cyber. Back on the offense again. Can he tip it in? Wow. And he does. Great Look shot from Cyber. 50 win, off the wall to himself, nice rotation, great angle he took that at, and that's going to be a 2-1 lead for Grand Valley. Grand Valley State University takes the 
2-1 lead, two minutes, 25 into the game. That was a big goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, just, just the mental hit being one, one goal over uh, your opponent is huge here. And I think they uh, they, only, they need to strengthen their lead here uh, so Cumberland can't do any uh, sneaky little comebacks or anything like that. Um, you know, Cumberland, so come back. I see what, see what you did there, maybe. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> uh, I do a little wordplay sometimes. <laughs> Speaking on wordplay, they are going to do some <laughs> heavy, <laughs> heavy uh, airplay up there. Alpha going to go up with this. Going to try and take it the distance. Going to run out of boost, though. Yeah. Not going to do much about You get caught in the air without much boost. It's kind of hard. And I think that's what's happening to Cyber here. Couldn't really yeah. get any shot here. and just had to kind of ride with the ball a little bit. Looking so for now, if you're going Valley, are you, based on how Cumberland's been playing, are you trying to play conservative here, or are you going for more goals? Oh, I'm going more goals. Okay. Like, the... We've seen that, you know, when Grand Valley plays the defense, eventually Cumberland gets gets the better of them. The more you're on their side, you know, because cross-field goals aren't happening at SSL. See, like that, that's, you don't want that to happen. You don't want to play the D at all, especially at these levels, because goals are so Grand big. Valley is so low on Every boost. It's so impressive they haven't let a goal in here. Everybody's just kind of walking around, meandering like they're at a retirement home. Let's see some boost. Out. And get it back to midfield. Uh, that's what we need to see. Now, yeah. to your point, though, I will say, I think that having this lead is allowing Grand Valley to play a little more conservative in their rotations. You know, still take their opportunities if they have them. But at the end of the day, we're making sure that they're not getting the ball in the back of our net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you can afford to play conservatively on the defense, you know, then that's great. Um, but Flip I rotation here from Cyber. Good 50, and Alpha's up. Going to take this. Can Cyber get trying to get off the wall here. And hit it towards the goal. Nothing's gonna, nobody, no uh, Grand Valley teammates are going to be over there. It's going to be over to GV uh, side. Grill misses the 50, but it's going to be saved there. I think it's like that was Cyber. Now here comes Alpha. 35 seconds. Good chance here if he gets into the middle. Cyber's in there. Ooh, good clear there by Cumberland. I, I, you know, it's, it's on their side, but that's what we were talking about. Uh, Cyber caught out of position there with no boost. A lot of, I mean, it seems like when Grand Valley needs it most, they're caught out of position with no boost. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's, you really don't want to be, you know, in a walker in a 100 meter race. Um. All right, we got just under 10 seconds here, though. So if Cumberland wants to score, they got to get something going here now. It's going to get to their half. Uh, all Grand Valley needs to do is keep it away from their goal and let it touch the grass. And, oh, oh, good save there from Alpha, and it's going to end. Grand Valley takes game four to tie the series two to two. Wow, we're gonna see, we've seen four games, best seven. They need two more. So look at them. They've got their game faces on. They're not even looking around. They're not even hyped. Locked they in, ready to go. Uh, that was a big win for them right there. Be able to hold on there at the end. Yeah, you want to you want to keep it even, or you know you have you have the lead. You ha going into a loss is a uh, is a uh, definitely a rough one, especially like it would be back to back. Um, be no good for them. And that was the first game we saw. You know the opposing team score first. Cool. Um, and get back to the, get back in the win column, even after being down 1-0 early. Yeah, you, you <laughs> claw on their way back. I, I like their play style. Um, I'm thinking I really like how they're adjusting on the fly to Cumberland's strategies. You know, they'll they'll do something, and then the next round they'll adjust to it, and you know, go p come back even stronger. And I think that's a really good characteristic here at Grand mm -hmm. Valley. And uh, now this is a big game here, Game Five. Winner of this one's going to take a 3-2 series lead as we're getting into it. Um, and that's a very decisive game as uh, it's only two more games now to take the series here. So big yeah. one here. Whoever wins this next game will be match point. <laughs> so. Uh, Definitely, uh, all the marbles Good are online. Good bump from Cyber. Uh, nobody's there for Grand Valley, though. I'd like to see more of that, though. Cyber not being the selfish player there, getting a bump on a defender, and just giving, hopefully, a guy, one of his guys a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, giving your guys a chance, setting them up for success. Such such a key part of this game. No boost here from Magic. Going to try and play it off to his teammate. He does. Cyber just tries to get it up and out. Here comes Skyline. Great angle. Great save. That was like from Gorilla there. Yeah. What a save. I'd be putting that in chat with my right bumper. <laughs> uh, I do see a lot of just waiting from Cumberland here for Grand Valley. Definitely a lot more patience. Here. Yeah, I yeah. Just, ooh, I don't know if that's necessarily. There, yeah. Cyber cleans it up. I don't know if that, that patience is necessarily a bad thing, though, especially. Here we go. Oh, and it's it. in. Gorilla with a nice power shot there. Beats the Cumberland defender. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead here early. Great setup there, just putting in front of the goal. And uh, looks like Cumberland was going a little line. too patient. And uh, they got caught out of position at a goal. Couldn't do Seems nothing. like that uh, car switch for Gorilla has actually played out pretty nicely. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable in the Fennec, it looks like. Um, and yeah, I think it's turned out well for Grand Valley so far. Yeah, definitely. Comfort comfortability is such a huge factor here, you know. 
You wanna you wanna play with your uh, instincts, not uh, trying to get a car that's uh, maybe a little bit better, but you're not as comfortable with. Right. Yeah, up. Don't get angle on it, but oh, just barely. Alpha playing patient here. Got to get back though. That's ball did not take a good bounce for Grand Valley. Gonna try and play it here in the corner. Good one. Gorilla needs to get up for that. Misses a 50. Bit of an awkward here one for Cyber. Alpha there, clean it up though. Ball's gonna go back. Gonna go in front of GV's net. Gonna set it up for a Cumberland shot. Nobody's there. Gorilla's there to, to knock it over. Grand through. Valley. Ooh, good bump there from Cumberland. Gets it off the angle that Gorilla was looking for. Skyline gonna try and redirect this one. Here comes Supa. Doesn't off quite hit it. Zero boost out of position. Magic just kind of sitting around here, I mean, you know, he's waiting. He's taking his time, waiting for a good chance to strike. But now, if we see that again, Grand Valley was right over his head. And kind of like here we're seeing the Super Sword. Not back. Not many players back, in fact, actually. Too quick for Alpha to get up for that one. Plays it smart, just tries to get back. Let's his teammate Cyber go up here. Bit of a fake there. It kind of works. And now here comes Alpha. Low boost, though. Just going to try and do something with it. Mm -hmm. Feel, you know, getting caught without boost in front of goal. You can't really carry the ball. Uh, to the net like you need to. Uh, they should definitely work on that. Um, just like under halfway now. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. Two minutes 30 remaining. Grand Valley with the 1-0 lead. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. And that's a long range goal there from Gorilla. Could not get up in time. Was a Cumberland player. Great shot here. Yeah, let's see that replay. And yeah, over the whole court, it's like a goalie sh scoring a shot. That's uh, pretty insane. Uh, but that's another 2-0 lead for Grand Valley. That is big. That is big. Uh, I haven't seen any team able to come back from a deficit like this so far. So Grand Valley just looking to keep doing what they're doing, ride this momentum, and hopefully we'll take them to a game five win. That's what we're hoping for in the studio. Great Fingers save, crossed. Cyber. Super Smurf to go up. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, a fake by both players there. Alpha <laughs> was expecting it, but uh, not a shot there from the Cumberland player either. That's the funny thing about you both fake. The ball just sits there. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't care. Um, but Cyber's going to try to set it up for a teammate. It's a demo. It's going to be right in front of the goal. Yeah, one mask guy there. They're going to get it past. Time, I think, becoming a factor here, though, for Cumberland. Uh, just under a minute 45 here. Uh, but again, it's one goal, and they're right back in it. So all it takes is that one great shot. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say it. Grand Valley's defense is looking good. <laughs> you know, I'm knocking on wood right now uh, over here yeah. in the studio. Um, but <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's, it's on in front of the net, and that's going to be Cyber missing it. Did not have the right angle on it. And now it's going to be Alpha back alone. Great oh. play there, but Gorilla's able to clean it up. That was big. Alpha didn't have any boost, so he's too much with that. And he's going to intercept that shot as well. Grand Valley all over the place right now. I mean, yeah, everything, everywhere, all at once. I think that should be the movie title for this uh, game. Everybody's all the time. Cyber it, puts it away. Cumberland definitely in their head right about now. Oh, my God, we're 3-0 on, <laughs> on game five. This is insane, you know. Great pass there from Gorilla. Caught Cumberland not uh, off the rotation. And 3-0 with a minute left. I think this might be a game five win for Grand Valley. Yeah, I mean, you know, let's, let's cross our fingers and hope, you know, nothing crazy happens. But... Cumberland should feel a little disappointed in themselves. You know, these aren't particularly high skill ceiling goals. Grand Valley just sees an opportunity and takes it, you know, and nobody's there to protect on the defense. Um, so they need to reevaluate their strategy and see where their rotations are going wrong and why they're caught out of position. Oh, great oh. save that by Alpha. All three Grand Valley players there, but Superstar's there to clean it up. Uh, Grand Valley just kind of caught in a weird spot there. You had three defenders in goal, so two go for it, and you're going to leave one out of it, too, when he makes that save. Um, so that's a, that's a keeps them in it, Cumberland here. A little over 40 seconds left. Might be a little too late, but like I said again, now that they're within that two-goal range, one goal puts them right back in it. Right back in it. A uh, demo uh, on Cumberland there. By Cyber. Plays it off well. Send back in the middle. Player. Just they can't get caught in position one more time. You know, 30 seconds remaining. They really just gotta clutch it up and say, "All right, we're we're gonna stick here. We're gonna take yep. this match win and put it to uh, match point." And just going up in the air. Just a little look like the offense is offensing currently. Uh, Alpha misses that one. It's in the middle of the net again. Gorilla clears it. That's huge. That may have been the game sealer right there. Seven. Five. And that's going to do it. That's on net as well. <laughs> Cumberland playing very aggressive, left an open net. Uh, kind of like taking your goalie out in hockey, just playing 
full throttle trying to get a goal there, but Garen Valley is going to clean this one up. And again, I think Cyber with the morale go to the goal there, uh, getting in CU's head. Saying, what are we doing wrong? What is going on? Why do we keep overextending? Um, and then it's three seconds left, and that'll be game after it goes up for a brief vacation in the sky. The ball. Bounce around a few more seconds here. And it's down. And that's going to be a game five win for Grand Valley. Back-to-back -back wins to take a 3-2 series lead. Heading into game six, it is match point for Grand Valley to move on to the Sweet 16. What did we like there from ben Grand Valley, Ben? Honestly, killer offense. It was pretty good defense. You know, there was a few times that they let them through, but, you know, it happens. We all make mistakes. Um, but, yeah, I really like the aggressive, you know, how aggressive the offense was, and they were always putting pressure and taking advantage of CU's mental game and how they were all <laughs> acting crazy. You know, I was, I was a big fan of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing it in the next game. Yeah, that was definitely a big one. Um, kind of, like you said, just not dinky goals, but individual goals. Um, still looking for some strong team play here from Grand Valley. I think that's what's carried them this far. Yeah. Um, it looks like... Ooh, is that a car switch I see from uh, I think that's Cyber switching to Dominus, maybe. Yeah. Interesting choice. I don't think I've seen him pull that out all year. Uh, he could just be messing around the menus, too, while he's waiting. But I mean, who doesn't like to see? Oh, no, it looks like a car switch. All <laughs> right, so that's Cyber switching off the Octane, heading to Dominus, a very flat car. Um, so it's going to definitely help him win some 50s more, maybe a little easier bit of the flip resets coming in off the air. Um, so we'll see how that plays their benefit. But like we said, this is match point here for Grand Valley. All it takes is one win here. They're going to move on, and it looks like we are now getting ready to load into game number six. Everybody's loading in. Usually we don't get to see this part. We cut in right <laughs> before face-off, but uh, yeah, exciting. All right, game six. Here we go. Cyber is on Dominus. Yeah, that'll definitely be interesting. Um, you know, what, what, do you, what kind of benefit? You know, you were talking about benefits that Dominus oh. provides in Alpha. Uh, just six seconds in, Alpha says, this is our game. We're going to take this one. This is my world now. That's <laughs> Alpha. Great goal here. Getting past all three defenders. Alpha making everybody else look like a beta here. <laughs> Great early goal here. That's going to be huge. Cumberland has not come back when Grand Valley has scored first. Yeah. Um, that's been the key to winning three of their four games here so far, or two of their three games. So. Because it's like three consecutive goals from Grand Valley, you know, like without a response here from Cumberland. Really something, uh, uh, quite, quite the problem here. Um, let's just, I mean, I let, you know, one of my close friends, he always says, you know, I root for a close game. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really, I re really would like uh, Grand Valley here to take the series with this uh, last game. And it looks like they're doing that. And I will note, Skyline has also switched to Fennec. But as I say that, Cyber puts it away. Wow, look at that. I mean... Cumberland, they're destroyed. They're they're on their hands and knees. They're saying, what Maybe have I done? you were right about the mental game. That was an awesome flip player by Cyber. If you, I don't know if the replay was right or not, but it looked like he flipped upside down to get a nice redirect off the Dominus, which is awesome. And I did kind of want to touch on more of that. So the Dominus is just, like I said, a super flat car. So the redirects you can get on this thing are really insane. You can kind of angle your car so many different ways and make the ball fly wherever you want it to. And I think that's what we saw there from Cyber, kind of flipping his car upside down to get a nice angle on that uh, goal there. So huge for them. You know, and they and they have the lead. They can play with a little bit of more technicality, uh, you know, in their cars and all that sort of stuff. And maybe like a safer pick, or like a, a Fennec or something like that. Um, Another good shot there from Gorilla. Grand Valley has been peppering their defense so far. And you get, that's what I've been talking about. You know, if you're constantly, you know, shooting little little holes on some armor plates, eventually it's going to crack. Um, Matt just going to go up, try to set it up for a teammate. He's there. Uh, Gorilla's going to. Set it over to the middle. And let's see what uh, Grand Valley offense can do. Can we get? Can we make a 3-0? Is that is that too I unrealistic? Think that might be five. And, and it there <laughs> it is. That actually may have been an old goal right there. Oh, uh, that'd be fun to see. Let's Cyber see. using a nice redirect. Oh, maybe not. Okay, Alpha yeah. was off the Alpha, wall. <laughs> yeah. Alpha making it look like an old goal. Even more mental games, you know, all that sort of stuff. 3-0 <laughs> lead. <laughs> Three minutes remaining. That, that's, this is a great start in game hype here for Grand Valley. I, I, I don't think Kimmel's going to be able to come back from this. And nope. there's and another <laughs> one. There is another. It is a 4 0 lead. I would, you know, at this point, if this is a ranked game, I'd be clicking the escape and the exit to main menu button right about now. Um, yeah, they're sweating. They are under pressure. Everything we've seen from Cumberland up to this point is just, it's not coming to fruition here. It's crazy. And 4 0. Uh, matching their total from last game. Uh, already here just a minute and a half early. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They were uh, 
you know, it was such a close game, and you know, they even took two matches at the start, and now they're completely falling apart. Like they got it's like roast beef in a in a <laughs> boiler for eight <laughs> hours. Like, what is going on here? Um, I must say, partner, I do love your analogies. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I really do try here for you folks at home. Um, but uh, <laughs> Rill's going to try to get it out here. Nothing, nothing. It's going to kind of stay on GB's side. You know, I mean, they got the 4-0 lead. I, I don't know really what to say there. They can they can kind of do whatever. Some demos coming out, you know. Really just a wild game right now that Dominus is coming in. Uh, Cyber's going to miss that uh, in the air. Even with all of that, Alpha being caught out of position with zero boost, they're still keeping it on CU's side. Huh? Rilla's up again. Kind of yeah. angle it on, and it's a save. Somebody letting their little sibling use the controller on CU side? I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. Maybe they got the bad controller that you get when you go to a friend's yeah. house. Um, but it's going to go over the goal, and it's going to miss. Uh, two it's great chances, and they both miss. Yeah, unfortunate there. Um, but you know. And nobody's back. And it's <laughs> Alpha gets a clean free goal. 5-0 for Grand Valley State University. Look at them. They're unfazed. They're just rocking about. You know, they're locked in. They don't even really care. You know, I mean, look at them. They know we got this game. One of them's in settings, you know. <laughs> they, <laughs> they know they got this game locked in. Now back to the faceoff here. 5-0, just over two minutes, and I think it is going to be a Grand Valley Series win and moving on to the next round of this tournament. I mean, you better knock on wood here. <laughs> I'm right about now. Because, you know, I've seen some crazy stuff, um, but it looks, looks like Grand Valley may get this. Um, Very uncharacteristic game, though. Every game has been tightly contested. I would even argue maybe the last game not so much. But up yeah. until this point, I mean, Grand Valley, each game it just seems like they're getting stronger and stronger. And now we're just at this point where it's like they're going to take it. Improvise, adapt, overcome. A good friend of mine always used to say that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what Grand Valley's greatest kind of asset is. They're always improving, even in a game-by-game -game basis. Uh, not even like a series-by-series, game-by-game. And it's really impressive uh, to be able to see the cracks in the enemy team and really just exploit them and like we're seeing here. A minute 20 left. They're going to have to pull out some serious metal here yeah. uh, over in uh, Tennessee. To see. Yeah, lack of opportunity, though, from uh, the uh, la -la, uh, from Phoenix. Yeah, <laughs> the Phoenixes. So, <laughs> um, but, yeah. I mean, they're going to try for stuff. Super Smurf's not going to be really in it. One minute remaining. Five goals to get to tie it up. Yeah. It's Unlikely. Dominating performance the last two games here for Grand Valley. You know, I got the biggest smile on my face right now. Love to see a Grand Valley win. Ooh. I mean, they have been undefeated in the series, so you always <laughs> see a Grand Valley win. And oh, they might get one here, and they do. Five to one. The little little Chico point there for Cumberland. A little morale boost as they finish off their season here. Yeah. Four goals, ten seconds. Can they ha make it happen? I don't think so, um, but we'll see. Grand Valley would have to literally fall asleep at the wheel here. <laughs> Nice 50, setting it up towards the center. Yeah, and just staying on CU side. I mean, they really got to they, they gotta play super aggressive here to get anything done. Good save there by Gorilla. Just, you know, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it big. Big yeah, difference. Big exactly. goal differential there. You know, you want to, I mean, yeah, Gorilla's playing super conservative. He knows, oh, I don't have to play the offense. You know, I can just play, I can just play on goal, you know. It's a, it's a, Cyber gets the demo on them. Ten seconds left. This is a well-earned Grand Valley State University victory. Hit the ball around one more time. We got zeros on the clock. It's going to go right in front of GV's goal. Alpha's going to hit it away. Let's see it touch that beautiful green grass. And, and there it is. And that's going to be a series win, 4-2 for, for Grand Valley, getting the win over Cumberland in the round of 32. Game, set, match point. <laughs> what a series. So, yeah, look at that. Boys are excited. Yep, they're signing off. Catching up on a few texts, you know, everybody's <laughs> hitting their line, you know. If you won the playoffs, I would be too. Um, but, yeah, we're back here in the studio. Yeah, what do you – I mean, oh, that was such a great series. What do you think Grand Valley's – big big thing is that they're doing well so you know grand valley was down 2-1 in this series mm -hmm. and um i think it was those first four games that kind of got them to feel out their opponent um so maybe hopefully what they can carry into this next series is a the momentum from these past two games but b also starting off stronger early um you know you hate to see them lose drop that first game 
Um, but they respond back, lose the next one, respond again, and then they go on to win the next two. But I think starting off stronger, and it, it does take a bit to kind of get your opponent, know what you're facing, going up against. But I think if we can see that, that would help them carry into their next round of play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so now that we're moved down, we're on to the round to 16. Grand Valley is going to await their next opponent. It'll be the winner of Boise State and the UC Bearcats. So that'll be our next matchup, the third and the 30th seed. Yeah, so that'll be uh, great. But, uh, you know, I'm super excited for the series. We're, it's all going to be on this channel, so uh, stay tuned later this week. Yep. Um, oh, with the, with the win tonight, actually, our next matchup is already set. It's going to be uh, this upcoming Thursday. Uh, I think it's 8, 8. 30, same time as tonight. Um, like I said, it'll be between the third seed Boise State or the 30th seed at UC Bearcats, whoever wins that much. Boise State would be a tough matchup coming in as the third seed. But yeah, Grand Valley win tonight, so the feeling is good. And let's see if we can take this momentum into the next round. Yeah, but stay tuned here. We're going to come back with a player interview, and uh, we're going to throw it over to break for real quick. Stay tuned.
All right, welcome back to the studio. I am joined here by GBSU player Alpha here after the 4-2 win over Cumberland. Now, Alpha, we were it was a very close series for those first four games, tied mm -hmm. two to two, but then you take the last two. What kind of flipped the switch for you guys? I think really it was just focusing on on playing with confidence, and then also, I think just like throughout the series, we kind of adapted to their play style. We kind of noticed they were trying to play really aggressive, trying to go for demos a lot, and I think we kind of countered that by kind of playing that play style, to be honest, just trying to up the aggression and trying to play fast and trying to play with confidence, and I think that worked for us. Yeah, so obviously, you know, you're playing different opponents, you know, every week. Um, how much of it is this kind of sport, like learning how your opponent plays in those first mm -hmm. early games and kind of feeling them out and then applying that to your play, st play style? How much do you think of an impact that has on it? I think it definitely has a big impact. I mean, I think Rocket League, compared to like other esports, is more of like a mechanical base game, maybe less strategy, but definitely like throughout a series, like you notice things that your opponents are doing and then kind of thinking about like, especially after games, things that you can implement like individually and as a team to kind of counter what they're doing and kind of see what works and see what doesn't. Um, so that definitely can help. Awesome. And then one last question. Now looking ahead, you're in the round of 16. Mm -hmm. Next match is going to be Thursday. What are you guys going to be working on, trying to improve on or trying to take away from this series as you look ahead for that? Yeah, just uh, just continuing to practice, making sure we're playing well together as a team. I, th I think we're going to versus Boise State, who's who's one of the best teams in college rock league. So we're probably going in as the underdogs, but definitely just looking forward to the challenge and you know seeing if we can pull an up upset. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Alpha. Appreciate it. Congrats on the win tonight. Thank and that's going to do it us for us here in the studio. Grand Valley takes home a win tonight versus Cumberland, moves on to the next round. Uh, we hope to see you guys in the stream here on Thursday, and have a good night.